coming out the bottle, so for now I'm on a gold mine. Living on a low for sure, for sure. I need a showtime show. All right, welcome back to the videos, everyone. Uh, we're finally back out at Dakota County Tech, which feels amazing because I've been missing driving at this place. But as you guys can see, it is like absolute torrential downpour right now. So I don't know how good our lap times are going to be, but this is going to be some good experience for me to be driving in very heavy rain. Like it is absolutely downpouring right now, but uh, hopefully we can set down a clean run. Um, but we're only getting like six runs today, so that's all right. The My tire pressures, I'm starting them off at like 30, but I think in order to be competitive today, I'm gonna need to drop them way down, but I'm gonna go step by step. Uh, but it is like, it is pouring rain out here. There is no way we are, we are definitely not gonna get any temp or anything in the tires, but let's see how we can do. That run was not our finest work. We uh, DNF because we because we missed the gate entirely. We were coming coming in a little too hot on one of their later corners. Not a lot of grip, but the car is very unpredictable out here with this much water. Um, it's just kind of hard to predict and control, and it it's like you feel like you might have a lot of grip, and then all of a sudden you just lose it all, and there's no control. So it's like it's like an on-off switch. You either have time you know, what you think is a lot of grip or none. So trying to keep the car right on that edge is gonna be really tricky. That run actually felt like really good. I was able to be a lot more aggressive and I knew exactly where I needed to be now that I have another run down already. Uh, still got a little squirrely there around the carousel, but honestly that run felt really good. I forgot to check my time, and but I'll get them in an email tomorrow. Honestly, I'm feeling really confident. I think I'm gonna lay down one more run and then going into our afternoon sessions, I wanna try dropping the tire pressure because I think this might have a lot more in it. But other than like just lack of power, it felt really, really good out there.
apparently what I thought was my second run wasn't my second run because apparently that one didn't count time wise, but I don't know why, but um, so that was technically my second run and we got one more run. Um, I hope the tech guys don't notice, but the car is actually like, I'm with something somewhere in the cooling system it's leaking, but it's, it's smoking kind of good. So I'm hoping I got like one run left, but we'll see. Um, that last run, I can't seem to get a clean run that last run. I completely knocked over the, I completely knocked over the gate, but the car's feeling good. It feels like I have, has a lot of grip, but it also feels like I'm on a like knife edge out there. I'm like super confused over how they do these runs because I thought I was only getting three in the morning and apparently I still got another run after this so I don't know how I don't know how that works but um car's feeling good I think I'm gonna drop the tire pressure now um for this last run the car it's not drying up but it's not like completely soaked the way it was like maybe a half hour ago so but I'm not really paying attention to my times. I'm more just focusing on getting like a clean line and getting a clean run, which I'm not getting a clean run just because I'm all over the place and I'm hitting cones, but so is everyone else. Apparently, we also get another run after this, but anyways, that run, I think I nailed like three cones, so we're not doing good. I need to clean it up. Um, I'm just trying to push the car harder. We're running on 25 PSI now, and there's a way more grip out there. It's still a little wet, but oh my gosh, there's 
a lot more. We're still, like I said, these tires are on their way out. There's still not a ton of traction, but we're doing a lot better. There's a lot more grip. I'm fighting for that, but I need to clean it up. So we'll see what we can do in these next runs. I have, theoretically, I have one more after this, but they keep telling me I get another one, another one, another one. Supposedly we have one more after this until, you know, we go into our afternoon run, but holy crap, is it humid out here? It is not fun, but at least it's not super hot out. first DNF and I completely botched that up. I was coming down the back straight and I was like, oh, there's a lot more grip here than in the morning sessions. We're just gonna go down the hill full throttle in second gear, which is probably in the neighborhood of like 70 miles an hour because I was in third gear like halfway up the back straight, so I was, which is 60 miles an hour, so I was probably doing close to 70, right? Nope, we did not have the grip. And right as I crested the hill and came around the corner, I was like, Oh boy, the car's coming around. Like, I immediately knew it, and I, that was not the first time I've done that. That's a tricky corner because it hooks left and goes downhill, so the back end gets extremely light there, and you're getting on the brakes. Um, I can't remember whether I, like, stabbed the brakes or not, but one, I think I did, and once I did, like, the car's coming around. I didn't want to get on the throttle because I'm already going way too fast, so it's like... Normally what, I, what I've been doing is just getting on the throttle and pulling the car straight, but I'm like, it's got no power in third gear to pull the car straight. So it is what it is, but I'm okay. The car's okay. Hopefully the car's okay. We'll see. But that's the end of the morning session. I think even if I had another run, I'm going to tap out after that. That's my first run after the fall, basically lunch break. And I'm like borderline out of breath. That was such an intense run. And I felt like, I felt like the car was doing literally exactly what I was wanting to do. And then some like, I don't know what the time was, but holy crap, did that feel good. Um, I don't, I didn't hit any cones. And 
um, it felt quick. The car, tra the course is a lot drier. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna go out there and keep duplicating it. It's very fast too. There's two spots where I'm getting into third gear. The end of the first straightaway, I have to just lay on the brakes, downshift from third, and then downshift from second into first. So that's a big task, and it's tricky, and then trying to get the car turned in and get it out of the hairpin. And it just wants to spin the tires in first and then bog in second. But we get up to speed, and then we go back to that, like, downhill section. I think I found the trick. I just tapped the brakes before the hill and then just full throttle again down the hill and then once you get before that s you get into second gear but i'm all over the rev limiter too this is a fun course i keep forgetting how much i love this course but actually my third run of the afternoon I don't even know if I get another one but 25 psi is the ticket it might be a little higher after getting the tires warm but holy crap this car hooks up and goes I'm having a little trouble at that hairpin at the end of the first straight but I figured out the braking situation and how to get down the hill without any uh, without any drama or chaos or spinning out <clears throat>
was a lot of fun. Um, I think we're done for the day. I got quite a few runs, quite a lot more runs than I thought I was going to get because they were saying we were only going to get like three in the morning and three in the afternoon. But there's a lot of fast cars here, but I got some additional, not additional, but like I got some experience working uh, all the timing and whatnot, and that's something I've never done before. So that was kind of cool, but I'll catch you guys on the next video. In a long ride, figured I could figure for a long time, long time. Trying to get a million in the coastline. Get my mama posted on the coastline. Oh my.